Welcome to the Ravens Report. Thanks for watching. I'm Maggie. And I'm Maddie. It's May 5th, Cinco de Mayo, Revenge of the Fifth, or just Friday, all of which are all right with us. Let's get to it. It's the last day of Teacher Appreciation Week. We hope that all our teachers felt appreciated this week. Honore and Edith went out to ask students and teachers about teacher appreciation. What do you appreciate most about your teachers? Uh, when I go off to school or before school, they help me if I get confused on, a, on homework or something. Is there a certain thing a teacher says or does that makes you appreciate them more? Uh, yeah, they'll always like encourage you to go the extra mile and push you to get your grades always higher. What do you think we could do to appreciate teachers more? Um, give them a day off. Anything you'd like to say about or tell to your teachers for this week? Just that they're awesome and that I love every single one of you guys and you guys always inspire me. Do you think you're appreciated by your students and if so, what do they do? Uh, I do feel appreciated by my students. Not uh, really just like giving me things or anything like that, but uh, a lot of kids say thank you on the way out the door and that always um, surprises me and it, and it makes my day. I think teachers are underappreciated. Somewhat, they don't get the recognition that they deserve. Uh, what can we do to recognize them more? Give them gifts, I guess, or write them cards uh, saying how much they mean to us. Do you think it's important to have a week to appreciate our teachers? Um, kind of just give back, you know, for all they do, for, you know, staying here through the school year and teaching us and just, I don't know, show that we care. Do you feel appreciated by your students? Uh, most of the time I feel appreciated by my students, yes. Is there anything they could do to, for you to feel appreciated all the time or what they do to f show appreciation? Uh, the one piece of advice I would give students is to realize that uh, teacher time is very valuable and we would really like them to show up to class on time and a lot more often. Uh, so better attendance and a lot less tardies would be something that teachers would really appreciate from our students. But overall, yes, I feel appreciated by your students. Some cool college trips to let you know about. First, Explore the Possibilities is an event offered at COCC Redmond Campus on May 12th, where automotive, welding, machining, and vet tech programs will be highlighted. And on May 16th, there is a trip to Willamette University in Portland State. There is a charter bus and lunch provided. 40 students max. Get all forms in the CCC and get them back as soon as possible. Attention all Ravens 16 and older. Come give blood on May 11th in the gym. Sign up today on the publicity room windows across from Carmen. Seniors, a couple of important announcements. The final day to purchase tickets for the senior grad safe and sober party is on May 19th. Please pay $30 to Mrs. Ling Lears in Career Center. All seniors who are going to the grad party need to turn in their medical release form to the CCC. The bus will leave immediately following graduation and no vehicles can be left at the fairgrounds overnight. Plan to park at the tennis court area lot at RVHS if you are going to the grad party. And finally, today is the last day to turn in walking partner forms. Fire camp crew applications are due today. Get them in for an opportunity to help fight fires. Boys and girls golf head to Eagle Crest for districts today. Good luck to all the Ravens who are competing on the links and softball and baseball go to crosstown rival Redmond High for a matchup. Go Ravens! That's it for today. As always, check out our YouTube page at youtube.com forward slash Ridgeview Ravens. I'm Maddie. And I'm Maggie. Have an epic day. Aw, I was going to go into Tashi Station and pick up some power converters. You know I'm not one to break.